Well, Genesis are on the roof of a house in the Midlands of England and they're going to show you how to install an in-roof system. That is to say that the panels inserted into the roof rather than laying on and parallel to the roof. And uh, you can see the installers are removing carefully a number of roofing tiles of a sufficient area. The precise dimensions are laid out in the installation manual that we want you to consult. And they have also laid out the in-roof uh, kit fittings on the floor so you can see the items that are involved. At the moment it looks like a, a bundle of bits of flashing, bits of metal and wood, but together with Genesis panels it will make a Genesis in-roof kit. Now here the installers are measuring 120 millimeters and then fixing this wooden batten to roof battens, to structural battens. And you can see that 120 millimeters. And then to the battens, we're screwing these clips, which will take part of the frame fitting. And another batten gets fixed to the clips, forming a right angle. And keep at all times the beveled edge up, not down. lower roof flashing which comes as part of the kit is fitted like this you can see it goes under a tile or under another flashing forms a watertight seal and is screwed into the top pattern show that again and screwed into the top pattern like that Now, peel the adhesive covering slowly, because if you peel it too quickly, it will rip. It will tear. And then carefully push the foam in place, letting the adhesive grip to the bottom flashing. sure you cover the whole length of the batten with the foam. So you've got your tray and in slides the panels. Into the kit and at this stage don't connect the panels just leave them rested while you then repeat the same process on the top side of the panels to fit the wooden battens to the roof to hold the top part of the panels. These are the extension kits. You use them to join the panels together. Very important you use green O-rings. That's solar quality O-rings in the extension kit. If you lose one, don't replace it with an O-ring of not sufficient quality because that will simply be dissolved by the heat. A little bit of silicon lubricant again another o-ring solar quality o-ring so each connection on the right hand, on the left hand side of the panel, 
Each connection on the left-hand side of the panel has the O-ring with silicone and is joined to meet up the opposite side of the panel. This is how you fit the extension kits together with an Allen key system. You tighten a little bit, um, tighten each Allen key a little before going on to the next Allen key. Don't try and tighten one completely and then try to then tighten the other. Do it in sequence gently until you've got a very, very solid grip between the um, Genesis uh, extension kits that uh, join the panels together. Again, you see we um, cap off the end of the panel, like thus, using a, a green solar O-ring. Don't forget the uh, silicon gel uh, supplied with every extension and installation kit. And here we are fitting the installation kit to the bottom left panel. And again using the clamps, tightening a little bit at a time on each side to clamp it together. On the right hand side of the array of panels, we uh, don't have any more panels, so we put a, a ceiling cap like that. And that's in the right hand bottom. On the right hand top of the panels, we get the return, which we're fitting thus. And you'll see the uh, bleed valve on top. Place that so you can get access to it if you need to. The sensor pocket system, you're going to have to fit a sensor pocket and a sensor into the sensor pocket of the panel, like that. And secure it like that with a little rubber hose to make a tight fit. These are support sleeves. It's good practice to use them. sensor wires go into the house along with the pipework that will form the heat circuit.